Hey, Scott. So I got your questions about the uh, about the let's see about the uh, financial statement analysis problem, and so I just wanted to to answer those as best I could. Um, the first one, uh, the, the question was about what assets on Apple's um, balance sheet uh, would constitute current assets. And, and they make it actually super easy for us here, which is nice, which is they just break down the current assets. And so it's all of these, and then it even gives us a total for current assets are given to us. So, so sometimes they're nice enough to do that for us. And usually when they're doing this type of a multi-step um, income statement and then uh, a uh, uh, like an expanded uh, balance sheet like this uh, or classified balance sheet is sometimes the term they use. It has all of these these items broken down for us. So so all of these constitute current assets, cash and cash equivalents, marketable securities, accounts receivable, inventories, um, non-trade receivables. Uh, and other current assets in this case, those would all be included in the total current assets. And then your second question was for part for number three, um, um, should we be looking at a specific um, uh, income statement, right? Because I think it was like, would, is it is it a classified income statement or is it a is it a, a, a not a classified income statement? And so, really, what we're looking for is uh, is any time an income statement, um, you know, breaks things down like this, uh, where it has cost of goods sold and then gross profit, or in this case, they call it gross margin, and then operating expenses um, and an operating income, and then other income, and then net income, that's, that's going to be um, considered like a multi-step income statement. If you remember the single step income statements from earlier in the in the course were just like, you know, we're just like revenue minus expenses is net income. So really I look for, if someone's asking that question, I look for things like is, if there's an operating income line or a gross profit or gross margin line, then for sure that's a that's multi-step. Okay. It's breaking it down into multiple layers or levels of income. Uh, the same thing if we scroll down here to Google's uh, income statement. Um, so there's the balance sheet. Again, so we have revenues and then we have the cost of our expenses. Um, all of those things. Um, and then we have total costs and expenses. Um, Again, what's confusing about this is they often use like like slightly different terms on each of these statements, right? And so, um, so again, I have income from operations or operating income, and then minus other income gives me my income before taxes, and then income. So, the fact that it's broken down into these various sections of operating income um, and stuff that means it is a, a multi-step income statement. Uh, one more we can take a look at, still on Google. Here's Samsung. Um, here they call it a statement of profit and loss instead of an income statement. Uh, we have our revenue minus our cost of sales gives us gross profit. So all three of these um, are we're going to call multi-step income statements. Anyway, I hope that's helpful. Um, and I hope you have a great night. And if you have other questions, uh, don't be afraid uh, to reach out.